Take one part, the coolest country on the earth, put them together, you get Toy Pizza going to Japan. Here at Toy Pizza, it is no surprise to anybody that we love Japanese collectibles. We are obsessed with Japanese culture, yep. the food, the toys, and guess what? We're finally going to Japan. I've been to Hong Kong a dozen times. I've never once gone to Japan. This is my first time in Asia, and I'm excited that, you know, being Chinese heritage, oh, I get to my first time going to Asia. I thought you were Italian. I'm not Italian. Oh. I know a lot of you might think I am, but okay. what better way to celebrate your heritage Chinese culture by going into Japan. Yeah, seem, doesn't actually seem to match up. Very different oh. cultures. I, it's the same, I think. We're gonna find out. We are also excited to announce that two Japanese retailers that we have bought yep. toys from many times, we've gone through the troubles of importing them and you know paying tariffs and expedited shipping and all that stuff. They are now up and running with fully functioning eBay stores yes. that you can order from today. Ami Ami and Mandarake, which both you can find in the description below. This is such a godsend. This is mana from heaven, right? Yeah. <laughs> because it is. it has been such a hassle to kind of order these collectibles, you know, search for these uh, expensive art books you might like. Uh, sometimes, you know, our Siva Jack, of course, has gone to such great lengths as opening a Japanese credit card yep. so that he can sort of middleman product into the States. Yep. No need for that anymore. It's all on eBay. If you have an eBay account, you got a PayPal account, you're already ready to be up and running to purchase some goods. As you'll see here, I've already ordered a couple things from Amiyami and from Mandaraki. I got this awesome metallic monster gallery slime knight. You see this? It's really like, it's all chromed out. It's really heavy too. It's got a certain weight to it. And I, I've been searching for them for years and it just so happens that, boom, it's right there on Amiyami. And for Mandarake, uh, we've pulled together a couple of orders. You got a ton of Spiral Zone. Yeah. And I got a handful of Sofubi. That's right. Uh, yeah, Ami Ami, the, the package arrived super quick. I think it oh. was within five days. It was like, boom, yeah. and it was there. Most of the time, it's standard shipping for ordering from Mandarake or Ami Ami. It's expedited. Yeah. And in some cases, you can find certain items that are free shipping. Yeah. By the way, full disclaimer for this episode, we are going to pronounce everything incorrectly. Yeah. Right? We haven't been to Japan yet. Yeah. We don't know the right way to say things. So, uh, you know, just a, just a little caveat that we're not going to pronounce anything the right way. So what you were saying that you got something from Katsuya? Uh, Katsuya Terada, very influential artist for me from Japan. Uh, people may know him best for having done some of the early uh, Zelda and Link artwork yeah. that appeared in Nintendo Power and appeared in the uh, instruction manuals. Yeah, he's one of your favorites. Totally. And, and uh, Mandaraki had this awesome art book I've been searching for for years right there and I had to pull the trigger. I'm just excited to go to Nakano Broadway in Japan because it's not just one Mandarake in the building, there's several, like yeah. one just for books. It's an entire mall apparently. Yeah, and I bought countless Sofubi from Mandarake online just getting ready to go to Japan and be like, you know what, maybe I should cool it a little bit. You're seeing some of the ones that I purchased, but I'm gonna cool it because you never know what you're gonna find there. Right. And I kind of want to leave my Japan trip up to surprise. Like yes. I have these key destinations like Mandarake and Amiyami, but I just kind of want to just go there and experience it and like find something off the shelf that I might not have been looking for, and just be like, oh, that's it. It's the, coming home. The excitement of the pending trip definitely sort of makes you want to buy more stuff now. Yes. And and yeah, it takes like you have to be patient with yourself and really take a step back and be like, there's no reason for me to go to Kino Kanaya today and yeah. buy a bunch of stationery and expensive pens, because I'm literally going to be in the heart of it all. 
Correct. Uh, I'm staying in Akihabara. A Akihabara? Akiha Aki That's definitely uh, on my destination list. I definitely want to visit there, but I'm also staying in Shimokitazawa, which is like the... It sounds like you said that right. It sounded like it. Let me know in the comments, but it's uh, like the thrift capital of Japan. Awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to Gashapon. Gashapon? Gashapon? <laughs> Gashapon? Gashapon Alley, which uh, apparently is this little street where there's all those amazing vending oh, machines lined up and I'm just gonna go nuts. I'm really gonna, yeah. you know, I'm gonna have like a, a sock full of quarters. I guess they're not quarters <laughs> over there. Minor technical detail, but you know, I'm gonna go nuts. I'm also gonna be searching obviously for Vintage Bakuri Man, oh, Necklace yeah. Fortress, uh, Diaclone, there's all these new Takara Tomy Diaclone figures. Oh, really? I'm gonna pick some of those up, no question. Those are the precursor to Transformers? Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, and they've sort of uh, revamped them in, uh, for the modern ages. I'm honestly after both uh, modern and vintage Sofubi. Uh, again, I just want to stumble to a store and be like, this looks cool, I want to get it, but some of the main artists that I'm looking for is uh, Realhead and Konatsu. Konatsuya? Sure, close enough. Is that the cat? Yeah, that's the, the, the yeah. Nagora. I am also particularly excited to bring Knights of the Slice and Hob with me and take some amazing photos in Japan. And maybe if I meet somebody at Mandarake or I meet somebody at Amiyami, I can give them some of our toys and maybe yes. maybe one day they'll carry them. I don't know. You know, I, I see this as a cultural exchange of sorts. I was actually trying to figure out this thing in my head where I was going to do like a viral marketing and like leave a Knights of the Slice like in a drain pipe somewhere yeah. and like hopefully someone finds it. No, I'm like... getting these labels printed that in Japanese will tell the story of them oh. and then I can sort of get them to people. Maybe you just leave them in Mandarake. Yeah, just put them on the shelf yeah. for the price tag. <laughs> Uh, 50,000 yen, sounds about right. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Check out the eBay stores for Mandarake and Ami Ami and check back here because we are going to condense a ton of videos that explore our trip overseas. We're traveling separately, of course. I will not stay with you. I, nor I you, my friend. Most importantly of all, holiday shopping. Do yes. it now. Give yourself time for the goods to arrive. Both these stores are amazing places to buy something unique and special for the nerd in your life. Go on there now, order today. It is November, people, not much time left. So definitely come back to the channel where you can see more of Jesse and I and our trip in Japan and look forward to a bunch of toys that we got from our trip. We are, we're gonna have so many unboxings to do. Uh, my cup runneth over. In any case, the only thing left to say is pizza, pizza out. out.